guys, welcome back to my channel. I don't really have that much time to give you an intro, but I'm just gonna get straight into it. So for primer, I use the Hourglass Veal Primer, or Veil, I think it's pronounced, I don't know. But I use that for primer because it makes the foundation last all day and it just looks amazing on the skin. Um, it is quite pricey, I'm pretty sure it's about $70 per bottle, but it definitely is worth it. Okay, so firstly I want to talk about this metal plate. You can get it from eBay for about $10 and basically it's just an alternative to squirting product on the back of your hand. It's just a little bit more hygienic and professional. So for foundations, I use the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. The one I'm using is in NC37, which is one of the most popular shades along with NC35. Um, and I like to um, put that on with a damp beauty blender. I don't really like to use Kabuki brushes. I just feel that beauty blenders make it look even more flawless. So as you can see, I'm just working my way around her face and dabbing it on. Okay, so for under eye concealer, I'm using my favorite Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the lighter shade. As you guys already know, it's my absolute favorite concealer ever and it's only $15. I would highly, highly recommend this if you haven't tried it. I have it in every shade, um, obviously, for obvious reasons, for different clients with different skin tones. So as you can see, I'm putting it underneath her eyes, using it as an eye primer on her forehead, down the bridge of her nose, on her chin and a little bit on her Cupid's bow and just blending that out again with my damp beauty blender. And then to blend the um, concealer on the eyelids and the hard to reach areas just around the tear duct, I'm using a small sort of kabuki style brush. Um, you can get these ones off eBay, I'm pretty sure this brush is from eBay. Um, and I got it in a pack ages ago and ever since I've got it, I've been using it for this exact reason. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Okay, so now I'm baking Sky's face with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm just taking a lot of that product on my damp beauty blender and packing it on. And I'm leaving it on for about two to three minutes. I don't like to keep it on for that long, otherwise it gets a bit too white. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm just putting that underneath her eyes, a little bit on her chin. And then taking my favorite pressed powder, which is the Australis Fresh and Flawless. This one is in the shade Darkest Brown, and this is the one that I use mainly on myself and Tanner clients. And if you don't already know, it's my favorite powder of all time. I would highly suggest you go out and get it and try it for yourself, because seriously, I've tried all the high-end ones, and this one is by far my favorite. So as you can see, I'm rubbing off the excess powder from the bake as well. And then I'm also setting the eyelids with the same powder, just with a little, um, I'm pretty sure this one's the e.l.f. blush brush, actually. And then I'm filling in her brows using the new Brow Definer by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love this brow pencil. Oh my god, you guys need it in your life. Um, and then I decided to go over it with my brow kit, also by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm using the color Taup, or Taup. I seriously still don't know how to pronounce that color. Um, and just going over the starts of her brows and brushing them out. And then I'm carving out her brows using the light concealer, the Maybelline Fit Me, the one that I used before. And as you can see, it just gives more of a defined line. And then I'm just using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel to set the brows in place. So the bronzer I use is the Hula Bronzer by Benefit and I use that with the Sigma, I think it's the Angled Contour Brush. I'll leave everything down below anyways. And what I'm doing first is just warming up her cheeks on her forehead, her temples, and then I drag a little bit on her jawline and underneath her lip.
So now I'm contouring her nose. I'm using sort of like a narrow fluffy brush. I seriously don't know what this is called, but I know I got it from eBay ages ago in a brush set. I'll try and find it and leave the link down below for you guys. And now I am contouring her face a little bit more. I'm just using the Zoeva Luxe Face Paint Brush, which is one of my favorite contouring brushes ever. I'm just defining her cheekbones a little bit more. And now I'm going to bake her contour. So I'm just using a contouring brush that I've never used actually for contouring because it's just a little bit too dense. So I'm using that, um, packing on the Laura Mercier translucent powder and as you can see I'm doing a line from the bottom of her ear to the edge of her mouth. I'm popping a little bit on the bridge of her nose, on her forehead and a little bit on her chin. I don't like to keep this on for a long time. I maybe keep it on for 30 seconds to a minute and then brush off the excess with a stippling brush. So for blush, I'm using the Benefit Coralista blush. This is one of my favorite blushes of all time because it's coral and I'm obsessed with coral blushes. Oh my God. Um, I'm not really a fan of pinky pink blushes. I don't know why. I just think coral just looks amazing on everyone. So. That is what I'm using. I'm using this on a blush brush by Zoeva as well. So for highlighter, I'm using the Gleam Glow Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm using the shade Crushed Pearl, I believe. And oh my god, how nice are these highlighters. I can't get over it. When I first received these in the mail, I used them straight away and they just didn't disappoint. Um, so I'm putting that on the highest points of her cheekbones, a little bit underneath her brow bone. Cupid's bow and down the bridge of her nose. Okay, so for eyes, I'm firstly taking Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek and I'm just using that on a massive fluffy brush and blending that through to a crease and this is just going to act as a transition shade. And then I'm also taking Makeup Geek's Cocoa Bear and I'm using that on my MAC 217 brush and I'm mainly packing that on the outer corners of the eye and blending that in. So now I'm taking the Too Faced Natural Eyes palette and I'm taking the color Honey Pot which is a gorgeous gold color. I'm spritzing my brush with some Fix Plus and just placing that on the inner corners of the eyes. So now I'm taking this gold MAC pigment. I'm not sure what the name of it is called, but I'll leave it down below. Um, and I've just sprayed my brush with a bit more of Fix Plus and I'm just dabbing that over the gold. So now using the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette, I'm using the shades pudding and hot fudge and I'm just placing that on the outer V's of the eyes and blending that out with my MAC 217 brush. And then I'm taking the matte black eyeshadow from the palette which is called Licorice and just placing that on the outer V's again and blending it out. So for the waterline, I'm using the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Pot Liner in black and I've always used gels in the waterline. I just feel that it holds better than a pencil. So I'm just applying that with a Sigma winged liner brush. So here I'm just using a small tapered brush and I'm just using the shade Hot Fudge from the Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar palette and I'm blending that into the waterline and then I'm just taking a larger fluffy brush and diffusing it so it looks nice and smoky. So to highlight the brow bone and inner corners I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit again and I'm using the Crushed Pearl um, colour. So the lash brand that I typically use on myself and my clients is called Model Rock Lashes which is an Australian brand and it is absolutely amazing. I love the style 212 and I basically use that on most of my clients. 
And the lash glue that I use every time is the House of Lashes Lash Glue. It's the best glue ever. I haven't found anything that beats it. And then I just use a disposable mascara wand to blend in her lashes with the falsies. And then I also obviously apply some to her bottom lashes. I'm so, so sorry guys, but I don't know where the clip went when I did her lips, but I used the MAC Saw Lip Liner with MAC Fast Play Lipstick over the top. Um, so yeah, there you have it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and comment down below what kind of client look you would like to see next, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.